close enough where we go in here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moment of silence. Roll call. Councillor Coase? Here. Councillor Estrada? Here. Councillor Huner? Present. Councillor Chamberlain? Here. Councillor Sturtz? Here. Councillor Fry? Here. All members are present. We have a quorum. Motion to approve the previous meeting's minutes. So moved. Oh, second. Motion moved by Councillor Sturtz and second by Councillor Coast. Councillor Sturtz? Yes. Councillor Coast? Yes. Councillor Strata? Yes. Councillor Huner? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Fry? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays. Motion carries. Now we have no names of individuals wishing to address council. We had a whole uh, bunch of people. Anybody want to talk? <coughs> okay. Moving on to committee reports. Department head, or committee reports, I'm sorry. Any? Ooh. Department head reports. David? Nothing new to report. Just working through downtown revitalization grant stuff. That's it. That's it. All right. Chief Schloeder? Uh, yeah, we'll have to. Uh, I need to convene a, a person, a personnel or safety finance committee meeting in the near future to discuss the MS contract uh, with the county. Reference the proposal that the county commissioners voted on last week because <clears throat> they did it was significantly less than what we had proposed, so we just have to discuss our uh, uh, funding and then personnel issues there. The uh, feather party is November 15th, it's a week from this Saturday coming up, and the uh, in addition to that, the wasionfire.com website is being redesigned currently and it'll uh, be posted new and be very public interactive here shortly and to, uh, to the committee of the whole last week we brought up the uh, fire department purchasing a fire safety dog and uh, fire fire dog Marshall arrives by United Airlines tomorrow at one o'clock at Toledo Express Airport and he'll be the new Wauseon Fire Department uh, fire safety dog. Okay. Okay. Green. He'll be a yellow lab. He is a yellow lab. <laughs> How old? He's 11 months old and he's uh, just started his, he's been obediently tra obedience trained and he's just now starting into his search and rescue training and uh, the local breeder, a local dog trainer is going to be putting him through all the uh, training we need to put on our public safety and education programs uh, is donating that training and uh, so we'll spend the winter time getting that completed. Is so he going to live with you or the fire hall? He's going to live here or? at the fire station and uh, uh, for the first Three to four months, he'll be back and forth between here and where the dog training is being done. And then he'll be a permanent <coughs> resident here at the fire station. Cool. That's great. And, uh, <clears throat> great PR source. And that's all I have. All right. Chief Torbett. Uh, trick or treat went very well. We had uh, only a couple of incidents uh, not related to the trick or treat itself. Uh, we are currently working with the school. In regards to the security for our upcoming playoff game this Friday. And that's about it. All righty. Tom? Uh, I had to switch up gears a little bit. The guys are working on Fulton Street, uh, and we'll probably finish up the sidewalk project with what we're doing there. The sidewalks are six feet wide, and there's a lot of sections. Public Works asked me to do some stuff around some, some sewers that were down near the old Kentucky Fried Chicken in, in that area, and then there's a couple big stretches. So we'll probably wrap that up in the next week. So if anybody calls you about sidewalks being tore up for the next day or two, they're, they were in tearing them up today, and we hope to put them back tomorrow and the next day. So that's about it. All right, thank you. Dennis? Linfoot Street Project, I've uh, been working with uh, O.R. Cohen, who is our negotiating agent, uh, working with the landowners along the way where we need temporary and permanent takes. Um, also with our engineer crew to uh, try to minimize the amount of uh, utility poles that are going to have to be uh, moved. I think we came up with a reasonable compromise. Uh, 
They had eight foot sidewalks where the sidewalks were ad directly adjacent to the curb, uh, primarily so that there was, they're wider for safety purposes to a certain extent and also some place to put snow and still have room for pedestrians in the winter time. Um, by reducing those by two feet, um, we think we can accomplish the same things and there'll be a lot less uh, utility poles that'll have to be moved. So, and overall, um, have a more uniform project because there were other places where the sidewalks were going to have a, a boulevard and be, and be uh, more narrow. Anyway, that's, that's what we're going with. And it should be no extra cost to the, uh, the project. Uh, we got uh, all the way through our civil service process this after this morning actually with uh, final interviews um, for the candidates for public works foreman. And uh, we selected uh, Jeff Newlove and he's accepted already. So he'll be our new public works foreman. Um, also in the public works department, they started the relief collection today. Um, a lot of the leaves have come down recently, so if the citizens can get around as soon as possible and get those leaves right to the uh, edge of the roadways, please don't put them in the roadways and let them clog up our sewers and so on. Uh, but the guys are out with uh, two full crews collecting leaves, and they will remain on leaves um, until they're all collected. So there will be no brush pickup from, from here until the leaves are all gone, whatever that is. Um, I wanted to let you know the last meeting you met uh, Matt Glower, uh, the new Economic Development Director. Uh, one of the things the Economic Development Committee has put out already or is working on, it's actually going to the, the entire body uh, tomorrow morning's meeting. Uh, we did a workforce survey. I, I serve on the workforce committee of that group and uh, it's pretty interesting results. I can provide copies for anybody who, who wants one. Um, after they've been presented tomorrow and, and officially accepted, but uh, uh, some interesting things. A lot of a lot of folks travel more than uh, 15 or 20 miles to come to work in Fulton County, um, and a lot less uh, folks going to retire in the immediate future than what you might think. So, anyway, some good information. Many from Lucas County that came over into we, we didn't get that detailed. We, we tried to keep the survey relatively short. Uh, there were 10 or 12 questions. Um, we wanted completed surveys returned. That was the primary goal. Ask the basic questions and then, yeah. then focus on the areas that where we can help the best. Okay. Um, continue to work on the budget. Uh, the budget that uh, the Finance Committee has received for consideration. We'll get some, some more fine-tuning when we sit down and, and talk about things uh, on the 11th, begin those discussions. Um, other than that, I want to thank Marshall personally for his service. Thanks, Dennis. Thank you. <clears throat> Dennis, on the Linfoot Street project, there was a question asked if there will be a turn lane, if that will be... Uh, no. Okay. No. No, but we're going to be using up most of the existing right-of-way with new pavement, the wider pavement, full curbs and gutters and pedestrian walkways on both the sides. Okay. Dennis, yes. um, I'm getting a lot of the pressure from my 11 and 9 year old at home. Um, there's a sidewalk, uh, Indian Way, does, off Linfoot Street Chief that feeds the school, is that Indian Way? Yes. Right at the intersection of Linfoot and Indian Way there's some uh, trees that have grown in and ate into some of the sidewalk. Um, you know, so uh, they just need to be cut back and my 11 and 9 year old can't pass there without brushing into the trees or fearful of bugs, I think, or something like that. But uh, <laughs> uh, if you could add that to somebody's to-do list, that'd be great. We'll take a look. Thank you. Um, what you were discussing, the light poles that needed to be removed yes. with going with the six foot, um, is that uh, an expense that the city was going to have to incur was moving of the poles? Or was that no, a joint no, expense? No, no part of... Uh, not just Edison's, but any utility uh, company that that operates in our right of way. If they, if those utilities need to be moved, whether they're above ground or below ground, for uh, a street project, they're obliged to do it at their expense. That's one of the risks okay. they, they take by doing business here. Okay. Of course, but we it's just doing less by being able to take it down from eight to six feet. 
yes, our, our choices at that point weren't real good. Um, there are a number of poles that still need to be moved to laterally rather than longitudinally. Um, so we want to try to minimize that. It, it didn't make sense to us to have them move. In a lot of cases, they were going to have to move the poles less than two feet so that they just missed the sidewalk. Or we considered pouring sidewalk around them. And that's never a great idea. It's OK for today, but five years from now, when something needs to be done, then you're tearing up sidewalk. Right. Um, Shane, you brought up a while back also about um, the street, I think it was you, on um, the new street going back to the school, mm -hmm. having a crosswalk there for kids who want to walk to school. Is there any more going forward with that? Uh, we're lo looking into what our options are for that area. I've talked with Tom about putting it on uh, the sidewalks, about extending a sidewalk across and putting a crosswalk in. Right now there's not a crosswalk going across um, Linfoot Street. Right. Uh, it may be something that we can possibly get public works to do, um, but uh, making a lot of work here, but yes. I but think, it I it think. is on the radar. It's just a matter of yeah. um, getting it done because really the best place to put it would be on the east side of Indian Way and Linfoot, and right now there is no sidewalk right. there. Right. Well, it's out of the, it, where the sidewalk stops on Linfoot is the village limits. Right. Period. So. We have to cross we there. To we want to, if, to be able to do it. We need at the end of that sidewalk is the closest we can get to going over to Indian Way, because the rest of it's in the township. So I think it's something that we targeted at maybe in place for the spring walkers. Yes, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's what we're shooting yeah. for. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Did this? Any more does? No. no <coughs> okay. Jamie. I provided you with the October 31st income tax revenue. We are still up almost 1% compared to 2013. I've also provided you the month end October 2014 uh, budget information. We're still within a uh, budget. And that's all I have for you tonight. All right. Thanks, Jamie. There. Pass you know. <coughs> Jamie, later this evening we'll be voting on your recommendation to approve the City of Wauseon investment policy. Mm -hmm. Can you just give me a nutshell? What I mean, is this something we do every year? Or is this? This is something that has not been updated since 1995. It used to be a 10, 10 statement policy. Um, I've just updated it to be more comprehensive. It's all from se uh, mm -hmm. Section 125 or 135 from the Ohio Revised Code. Basically, just giving a, giving me guidelines as how to invest. As a word, mm -hmm. okay. thank you. Thanks, Jamie. Tom, continuing to work on a couple of nuisance matters with Tom. Actually, one was brought to completion. I think relatively, it's relatively complete. Oh, it's complete. <laughs> the trailers moved out of the uh, the park. Uh, still working on uh, the second one. Um, uh, Chief Torbett and Assistant Chief McConnell have given me a, a telephone book size of policies to review, I guess, and changes based on the recent election. Uh, well, policies as a result of pre-election um, interests, but uh, we'll be looking at that. And then I just quickly call your attention to the three resolutions up for reading this evening. Each are basic uh, amendments or continuation of contracts that have pre-existed this uh, current year, and they're on the same terms as they have been. Previously, the first is for indigent, indigent defense services with the uh, county court. The second is for uh, the provision of uh, uh, dog services from the uh, dog warden. And then thirdly, uh, bail bondsman contract with the county court. Other than that, Mayor, it's been a pleasure to work with you these past years. I wish you well in, uh, in future endeavors. Well, thank you, Tom. I well. appreciate it. Okay, moving on to the first reading of the legislation, Resolution 2014-19, authorizing the mayor to enter an amendment to the agreement of indigent defense services in, in county court with the Fulton County Commissioners. So moved. Second. 
Motion moved by Councillor Coast and second by Councillor Estrada. Is there any discussion? Councillor Coast? Yes. Councillor Estrada? Yes. Councillor Huner? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Sturt? Yes. Councillor Fry? Yes. Six shades, zero nays, resolution 2014-19 passes on the first reading. Resolution 2014-20 authorizing the mayor to enter into a city county dog services contract with the Board of Commissioners of Fulton County. First reading. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Huner and second by Councillor Sturtz. Is there any discussion? Councillor Huner? Yes. Councillor Sturtz? Yes. Councillor Coast? Yes. Councillor Strata? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Fry? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays, resolution 2014-21 passes on first readings. Or 20, 20. excuse me. Okay. 20. <laughs> I just got to read that one. Yeah. <laughs> Resolution 2014-21 authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Fulton County for Bales Bondsman for the Fulton County Court, Western District. First period. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Sturtz and second by Councillor Fry. Is there any discussion? Councillor Sturtz? Yes. Councillor Fry? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Huner? Yes. Councillor Strata? Yes. Councillor Coates? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays, resolution 2014-21 passes on first reading. There's no second or third reading legislation on the new business. Motion to accept the letter of resignation of Kathy Huner, council member, effective November 3rd, 2014 for the unexpired term to December 31st, 2017. So moved. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Coast and second by Councillor Estrada. Councillor Coast? Yes. Councillor Estrada? Yes. Councillor Huner? Abstain. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Sturtz? Yes. Councillor Fry? Yes. Five yeas, one abstain. Motion carries. Can I, um, for new business, can I just read this letter that we received in our council packets? I think it's nice to hear some positives once in a while. So um, this was sent by Matt Hutchinson, the um, high school athletic director. It says, Dear Wasan City Council, I wanted to inform the council and all members of our city's leadership that the Wasan High School Athletic Department truly appreciates the outstanding relationship between the school and the Wasan Parks and Recreation Department. Under the direction of Aaron Tip Lady, the Parks and Recreation Department and the Athletic Department, have worked to the, together very well over the past couple of years, and I wanted to make sure that you were aware of the cohesiveness of our organizations. Both the Athletic Department and the Parks and Recreation Department do what we do for the same reason, to provide the youth of Wasan with great extracurricular opportunities. We recognize the fact that the better we work together, the better the experiences will be for our students. The efforts and cooperation of Mr. Tiplady, his staff, and the City of Wasan are very much appreciated, and I look forward to many more years of collaborative efforts between our organizations. Matt Hutchinson. I just thought that was a very nice Good. Uh, letter. <clears throat> Good job, Aaron. Good job. Okay, moving on to old business. Uh, a finance committee recommendation from October 20, 2014. A motion to accept the finance committee's recommendation to approve the city of Wasion investment policy. So moved. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Coast and second by Councillor Huner. Is there any more discussion? Councillor Coast? Yes. Councillor Huner? Yes. Councillor Strata? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Sturtz? Yes. Councillor Fry? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays. Motion carries. Before we move on, we would like to, um, I'm sorry, I just keep interrupting you tonight, don't I? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we just want to take a second to recognize Mayor Shaw for all of the things that he's done for the city of Wasion as a council member and then as a mayor. Um, we, we really appreciate all the time. I, sometimes I think um, people don't recognize how, how much extra time it takes to um, address the different issues that come forth um, from from citizens and it's really um, it's really a great thing to be able to serve but it's also pretty time-consuming so I just want to make sure that we recognize Mayor Shaw and, and thank him for all the time that he spent um, devoting some time to the city of Wasion.
Thank you, Heather. You're welcome. It's truly been a pleasure uh, serving. I've been in Los Angeles all my life. It's, I I do do this for a personal gain. I did it for a personal gain for the city and all you guys. It's been a great time. The years went fast. Uh, it's been fun. There's been high points, low points, but overall, but it's great. It's been a good deal. So Washington's a great place, and I hope to see you go forward. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. How many years, then? How many years? Well, ten years on council and three as mayor. So it's been a good time. City's really went a long way, and it's gonna. It's got a long ways to go, but we're in good hands. So. I wish everybody the very best. So. Thank you. Thank you. Motion to approve the bills as presented. So moved. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Sturtz and second by Councillor Fry. Councillor Sturtz? Yes. Councillor Fry? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Huner? Yes. Councillor Strata? Yes. Councillor Coles? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays, motion carries. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion moved by Councillor Chamberlain and second by Councillor Coast for adjournment. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Yeah, you might want to swing around a little bit. Raise your right hand, please. I, Kathy Huner, solemnly swear. I, Kathy Huner, solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the Charter of the City of Wauseon. And the Charter of the City of Wauseon. And that I will faithfully, honestly, and impartially discharge. And I will faithfully, honestly, and impartially discharge. The duties of the Office of the Mayor for the City of Wauseon. The duties of the Office of the Mayor for the City of Wauseon. State of Ohio during my continuance in said office. State of Ohio during my continuance in said office. Congratulations. Thank you. It's like Christmas. So everybody says they've had enough of it.